It's in the capital the biggest deals are made. And here, crash is a scary word. The mere mention of it is enough to make soup sweat. But if you know what you're doing, you can still make money in a falling market. Back in the early 90s, when many were wary of residential property, a young lad working in his mum's laundrette bought a house here on Chapel Market for 140 grand. Today, he owns assets in excess of half a billion pounds. Andreas, hi. Hi. Hi, Jen. How are you? I'm Love good. You. Thanks for coming. Good. So, this is your old stamping ground? Yes, it's been 10 years since I've been here. Good old memories. Yeah. <laughs> Where it all started. Where was it? It was number 15, just here. Yeah. It was an old shop, shoe shop underneath, and it was just derelict upstairs. So it was a good opportunity to go in, you know, fix the shop up, and then, you know, we created four residential apartments. What does it feel like to be back? It's good, I've been back for a few years. There's a few old faces. There's a old mate of mine there. Just say hello to him. How are you? How are you? Good, mate, not bad. What's you up to? Good. Use your property. Well, looking a bit, yeah. Trying. How you doing? Well, <laughs> <laughs> as good as you, obviously. Yeah. yeah all right, coping. Do you get down the Cali much? Try not to much. Yeah. It's uh, changed a bit down there now. Changed a lot, yeah? Yeah. I haven't been down there What's for that? years. A lot of people bought up a lot of property down there, which is going to stop there. It's all their property it. developers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're talking about a little one bedroom flat, a quarter of a million pound plus. It's just gone, gone too, too far, far can't it? Go, it? Yeah, can't go. It's, it's gone too much. And I bought that building there. 14 years ago for 140 grand. We made four flats out of it, and now it's 250,000 just for one flat. Well, it just shows you in the last 14 years what has happened. Mad though, you know. Nice though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> anyway, nice, yeah, to nice see you. you. Take Good, care, luck, yeah. Yeah. Good luck, yeah. Good luck. And if you need any advice, I know where to find you. <laughs> See you Cheers. Take care. Bye. Thanks, Three for five pounds. Andreas Paniatu's trick was simple. Buy shabby houses in up-and-coming areas, convert them into luxury flats, then hold on to them and rent them out. You could see, like, Islington and Hackney, just such big boroughs, which were underdeveloped. There was no development going on. So, so it therefore, it's a no-brainer. Right, so it wasn't an accident. It was, it was clever. I'm not clever. <laughs> well, you sound I left school clever. at 14, 15. No, um, no results, no A-levels, O-levels, anything. It's not about being clever. It's common sense and gut feeling. But the market was on my side as well. So it made it very easy for me. It's not easy today, though. If you're asking me today, could I go back in today and do what I did in residential for the last 10 years, I would say today is near on impossible. Andreas used to be the largest private residential landlord in the country, but he never forgot that prices go up and down in cycles. In the previous boom, in the late 80s, the market rose by 160%, then fell by 20%. Timing is everything. I've been in this boom period, but there's always a time when it's going to come to the end. So therefore, it was obvious to me, I had to get out of this. So what did you do? Well, we just sold out big chunks to funds and different property companies. How many did you sell? We sold uh, about £700 million worth. Wow. Yeah. Was it a good decision? Great decision. Great decision. If you asked me to sell that £700 million worth of property today, I'd be lucky if I would have achieved £500 million. So it could have cost me £200 million. You're the man who got the market right two years ago when it was about to fall. So what's your best guess about what's going to happen now? The best guess is I think we're going to be in some very serious times for the next two years where there's going to be price adjustments in the market. So I, is that, yeah, that's a euphemism, are, isn't it, for falling? Price well, prices are going to drop. And that is the adjustment. The adjustment's only going to go down. It's not going to go up. You know, but no one knows how bad it's going to get. But if I was going to give a prediction, you'd have to say that residential prices are 20 to 30 percent overvalued. So they could fall by 20 to 30 percent. They have already. 